Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got a treat for y'all. I know how much y'all love these or at least I hope you love these. Today I have got a collab with a fellow small YouTuber. Her name is Grace and I will link her video down below and I will put it in some little cards up here at some point so that you can get to her video. But today basically what we decided to do was just create a look with a subculture palette. Um, we both had it and neither of us had used it in a while so we just decided that we would dig right into it and see what we could come up with. So here is the subculture palette. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why, but here it is in all its glory. This palette was a big issue for Anastasia Beverly Hills because some of the formula is a little off. But overall, in my personal opinion, I'm still pretty fond of this palette. I love the color layout and I just think you can create good looks. You just got to take your time with it, which might be a little inconvenient. But if you're someone who likes to sit around and do makeup, if you're a YouTuber, if you're someone who has time, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this palette. I'm really a huge fan and when I have time, I like to sit down and play with it. It has just been absolutely forever because I've gotten so many new things to play with that I haven't played with this one in a while. <clears throat> so today I'm just going to show you how I did this look. I'm going to link you to Grace's video so that you can see the look she makes, which I'm so excited. I'm pre-recording this, so I haven't seen her look yet either, but I'm excited to see what she comes up with. <clears throat> and to be fair, because I did not come up with this look on my own, I actually Pinterest the subculture palette and this is what I found and it came with a nifty <laughs> little cheat guide telling me what colors she used uh, her name was not on it it's just an image I found so if you know who that is link her down below to tell me who it is so I can give her credit because this is a bomb look and I absolutely love it <laughs> so here is just a quick look at what I came up with and if you like this go ahead and keep watching and we will get you your tutorial right now okay guys so we are gonna go ahead and start this look um, the first thing I need to do is take a fluffy brush and we're just going to use this E27 and we are going to go into Roxy right here and put that all over the crease and that's going to be our first transition shade and I forgot how pigmented this palette is so I'm going to have to be a lot more <laughs> careful you guys I always forget that this palette is like ridiculously pigmented okay <laughs> so that is our first crease shade and then we are going to go into new wave right here and just blend that into roxy and i'm going to go ahead and use the same brush for that and just go right in Okay, so now that that is in the crease, I'm going to take a smaller M441 and go into All Star right here. And I'm going to start setting my eye up for the halo eye that I'm hoping to create with this look. On a different brush I'm just going to take a tap of Rowdy right here and deepen up that inner and outer corner just just a hair. Okay so on my finger I'm just going to take Adorn the Gold in this palette and just put it 
in the middle, just pat it in the center of my lid. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna take my M441 and I'm gonna take a little bit of Roxy and just put that on my lower lash line and it will still be mixed with a little bit of All Star so it'll be a little darker. And because I can't stand to have a bare inner corner, I'm going to take a little bit of cube right here and pop that into my inner corner. And I'm also going to take just a tiny bit on my brow bone. Okay, so that is the eye look. I'm gonna hop off here, finish up my face, and I will be right back with the final look. <laughs> okay guys, so we are super zoomed in and here is the final look. Okay guys, so <clears throat> this is my final look. I had so much fun creating this. I know when the Subculture palette came out, it was like this big stink. And everybody was upset because of the fallout. And if you could see my tape right now, you would know that's still an issue, but thanks to all that, I hadn't played with this palette in so long, and it really is such a wonderful palette, and I had a lot of fun making this look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to go check out Grace's video. Put it right here, if I can, <laughs> and I'll put it in the description so you can go check out her uh, look that she created with this palette. Um, if it's not up right now, I'll put it up as soon as it is. Uh, we may be uploading on different days. We have different schedules, but that's all right. So, uh, yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye, you guys.